today's best bets. Chelsea, I'm popping you this week. I don't want to call it a heater. I don't want to jinx you. I don't want to mush you. But I'm a big fan of the plays you've been putting out there. So give us another dub. Your name's literally Jinx. So, yes, you did just jinx it. <laughs> um, but I'll be playing the Dodgers minus 150 today. Yes, it's a square play. Yes, it's a chalky play. But anytime you can get a good team like the Dodgers like this at minus 150, I think it's a solid play, especially behind Tony Gonsolin, who's been nothing but spotless this year. 11 and 0. And also, you follow it up with one of the best bullpens in all of baseball. Dodgers have a top six team ERA as a staff, as a relief core. And looking at uh, this Dodgers team against the Cardinals today, which I know that graphic says Phillies, but they are playing the Cardinals. Adam Wainwright, I know he is this ageless wonder that everybody's talking about this season. But if you look at the games that he's pitched this year, he has only faced three top 10 offenses this season and hasn't fared well against Two out of three of those. Uh, against the Phillies, he gave up four runs in five and two-thirds. Against Boston, he gave up four runs in six and a third. So I think he's met his match here when it comes to the Dodgers. And looking at the St. Louis Cardinals uh, bullpen, it's a bullpen that's probably a little you know, tired after last night. They had to throw the house at uh, the other team because they had Jordan Hicks come in as an opener. It was a bullpen game yesterday, so they used a yep. ton of relievers. So I just don't think this is a fresh team. It's a Dodgers team. This is a better uh, team on paper behind one of the best, most consistent starters in baseball. I'll go with the Dodgers minus 150 on the road here against the Cardinals. Not going to talk you off that like that bet, Chelsea. I, I may be jinxing myself. I feel like a cold streak is coming for me, and I, I got to shake myself out of it. But I'm going down to the trap where the Red Sox are taking on the Rays. The Red Sox are plus 145 on the money line. The Rays are minus 175. That price for Tampa keeps going up. Why? Because you've got Josh Winkowski on the mound taking on Shane McClanahan. And what I'm going to do is just back Shane McClanahan in the first five. And I don't know how you don't. Right now, first five is just minus 120 at that MGM. It's gone off or gone up a touch, but he's faced the Red Sox once this season. He allowed two earned runs over seven innings. But since that time, in 12 outings, Chelsea, he's allowed more than one earned run one time, and that was against the Yankees more than a month ago. The Rays may only need a single run to get us a win here. Let's go Rays. First five run line. That is minus 120 at that MGM, and hopefully get my first win of the week. Yeah, I'll be rooting for Shane McClanahan because I have a futures ticket on him to win the ah. Cy Young in the American League. So sometimes I try to stay away from bets that are also kind of in that vein because, you know, I don't want to put all of my money in one bucket and I don't want to jinx it. So let's bring in our trusted source to see mm. if our bets are on the right side or not. Holy crap. Magic eight ball. That's right, because we are a very serious betting show. So we have a Magic 8-Ball that we bought from the toy store to fade or tail our bets, because he has all of the hashtag sources. All right, 8-Ball, let's start with mine. Do we like the Dodgers today, minus 150 against the Cardinals? Answer is Outlook Good. Here we go. There we go. Once again, it was a nice little respite, 8-Ball. Thanks a whole lot for supporting me one day. For fading Chelsea, what, what was that? A day or two that he got away from supporting you? Yeah, and guess what? I went two and zero. Oh, so, oh, oh, yeah, that's that's rare for you, Chelsea. Throwing out a little heat, two and zero, oh, make it three and zero. Oh, according to the eight ball, get, just give me a winner. Yeah, because I don't jinx things like you. Uh, so, is jinx play correct hey, today? The Rays in the first five to be ahead minus a half in the first five. Against the Red Sox. Eight ball says. Come on, dude. Very doubtful. You're a piece of crap, eight ball. I'm going to take him to the United Way. And I'm going to fool him. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to drop you off, give you a better home. And then right before I walk inside, I'm going to throw him in the trash and break him. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I feel about the eight ball at this point right now. I'm over it, Chelsea. Over the eight ball. Yeah, I don't think you're going to physically intimidate the eight ball without with all of your creaking bones. I think, you know, maybe if this was 20 years ago, I would take Jinx against the eight mm -hmm. ball. But now my money is on that hunk of plastic because. Yeah, you know what happened? Bones. 
I would throw that eight ball into the trash and like tear my rotator cuff. So you're probably <laughs> right. I mean, like, let me just roll the eight ball off my hand into the trash and maybe it breaks at the bottom because otherwise I would cause myself some sort of bodily injury. I would need Tommy John. It would be awful. My yeah, arm and would you miss the trash can because you need LASIK. <laughs> I'd go for the trash can and just right beside it to just throw it on the sidewalk. That sounds about right. By the way, if you want to see the Magic 8 Ball in the flesh, you can. If you have good eyes. If you have good eyes, you can stream it. If you're blind, it's okay. We speak very loud into the microphone. Just go to twitch.tv slash betql. That is twitch.tv slash betql. In fact, Chelsea right now as we speak is giving you a close-up view of the 8 Ball, spinning it on her fingertips. Either way, you can see the eight and the eight ball. Oh, my God. There she goes again. She's spinning it on her finger. That is twitch.tv slash BetQL. She is a master. Chelsea, before we move on to the BetQL five-star best bet, do you have any leans for us today? I'm not giving any leans. I don't like my bets today. I don't like, don't like my bet today, so I'm not giving out anything else. Do you have a lean? Yeah, I'm going to play this. It is not a lean. Oh. I am playing this. I'm going to go Ross Stripling, the starting pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays, over three and a half strikeouts today against the Phillies. This is more of a play on the Phillies and how much they have been striking out lately. Last night, the Phillies struck out 14 times against the Blue Jays. And I get it. Ross Stripling's not Jose Barrios, but still, three and a half is a really low number with considerably low juice at minus 135 against these Phillies that also are not at full strength. They don't have JT Real Muto. They don't have Alec Bohm because of the COVID policies in Toronto. So they've had to substitute a few guys into this lineup, and we've seen it. These other guys strike out a lot. So I think three and a half is a very gettable number for Ross Stripling, who's coming off a game in which he struck out six against Seattle. No, he's not a high strikeout guy, but this is not a high strikeout number. So I'll go Ross Stripling. Over three and a half strikeouts, minus 135. Ooh, really love that bet, Chelsea. I got a good feeling for you. Let's check in with the dogster now. It is the BetQL five-star best bet. For insight, analysis, historical trends, and more five-star best bets, you can download the BetQL app. Let's bring in the dogster. Here he is. We live together now. Just to be clear, he lives in a different room. We barely interact, and that's good parenting. I let him fend for himself, and he'll learn to appreciate the autonomy I've given him over the years. Chelsea, last night, the Donkster bet against the Baltimore Orioles, the hottest team in baseball. They won nine straight. He bet on the Cubs. So guess what the Donkster is doing again? Betting against the Orioles. That's exactly right. Donkster, tell the people why you hate Baltimore so much. The who? The her? <laughs> I, I live in D.C. I'm a Nationals fan, just like my dad. No, you're not. Don't associate yourself with me. You just hate the Orioles. Maybe maybe you just maybe you just like losing money, Donkster, because once again, he's betting on the Cubs. Of all the teams to bet on against the Orioles, you're going with the Cubs. He says Cubs money line minus 130, Cubs run line plus 150, Chelsea. Fading one of the hottest teams in baseball? Good luck with that, Donkster. You're a dumb Donkster. I'm not talking to you until tomorrow. Get out of here.